News from junior college football, the NJCAA released its list of Division III All-Americans. Five RCTC Yellow Jackets making the list. Receiver Terrence Isaac Jr., offensive lineman Gavin Layton, defensive lineman Seth Thomas, and linebacker Martrell Williams, all first-team selections. Kicker Rodrigo Castaneda named as a second-team member. Now in prep sports, a rivalry on the basketball court. The Century Panthers visiting the John Marshall Rockets. We start in the second half. This game tied at 24 as Eli Ledoux grabs the rebound and hits Chan Malith in stride for the transition bucket. Malith with the hot hand early. Catch and shoot from the top of the three. That one's wet like water. Panthers have the answer, though. Ricky Wengert, gotcha. That's a pump fake. One dribble on the money. Back to Malik now, this time inside. Spin move and a nice finish with the right hand. Century hanging around. Blaine Nash attacks across the paint. Count the two to pull the game within one. Panthers hold on to avoid the upset 70 to 67 tonight. Same rivalry, but on the girls' side. Century coming off a double overtime win against the Rockets. Hosting early, Jasmine Dang going to her right downhill and the soft touch bounces a couple times and in. Rockets lead 5-0. Now nice passing from the Rockets over the top for Niabo Morwall, keeping the JM lead at 5. Panthers continue to stick with the Rockets. Nora Lynch goes to the top of the three, sees space in front. She pulls the trigger and sent three centuries within one. Lynch would get the ball again, this time in transition. From the right elbow, gather, jump shot. That's good. Century leading by two, but not for long. Hiru Othau with a spin move across the paint. Middle with the fancy finish using the left hand, bringing the game back even. When this one was all said and done, Rockets win the rivalry 58-51. More girls basketball, the 13th ranked Dover Eota Eagles across town to take on the St. Charles Saints. Now from the jump, a display of class from the Eagles. Saints win the tip and get the ball to their senior, McCaden Gust. In the final game of her high school career, she enters the 1,000-point club, Gust becoming the seventh Saint to hit 1,000 career points. She suffered a knee injury during her soccer season and will have surgery to repair it next week. Congratulations, McCaden. Now we get back to some game action. A nice pass from Isabel Dolman sets Madeline Mulliken with a short-range shot, Miranda Palmy cleans up the glass, putting the second chance points home. Palmy again, this time on a give and go. Emerson Bramer back to Palmy through the paint for two. Saints' Claire Siebenhaler lofts it to Lydia Warmkagaith for the finish inside. Eagles go on to win tonight, 69-31. Now we end on the ice. The Wasika Blue Jays in town taking on the Mayo Spartans in girls hockey. Picking it up in the first, Spartans down 1-0, tasked with a 5-on-3 penalty kill. First shot from Maisie Story, kicked by with the pad and covered by Grace Kober. Now it's Kober again, sees the wrister from Madeline Benson right into the glove, coming up big on the kill. Mayo hemmed in their zone for a majority of this kill. She can't get this one cleanly. That's Kober with her glove. Ricochet off the mask somehow stays out and in the corner. After a successful kill, seconds left in the first. Andrea Augustin can't get her stick on the pass to the slot, but Natalie Campbell picks the top left corner and the goalie can't shoulder this away. 5.6 seconds remaining and the Spartans tie it at one. Each team would get one more goal, skating to a 2-2 tie tonight.